Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make chocolate chip ice cream. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start by placing in one and a half cups of full cream milk into a saucepan. And to our milk, we're going to be adding in two cups of cream. Now guys, I'm using full fat cream and milk here. Don't use skim, because we need all that flavor. Next, we'll add one cup of white sugar. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. About two tablespoons of golden syrup. And I'm just going to add a pinch of salt, just to enhance the flavor. And we just want to begin stirring this and mixing it together. And just on a high heat, we just want to bring this up close to the boil. But we don't want it to actually boil. Now you want to keep on stirring as well. Because we want to get everything well dissolved. As you can see now, we've got this beautiful, rich, creamy color. And that's exactly what we want. Alright guys, so once you see it start bubbling on the sides like that, we'll turn the heat off because we don't want this to actually boil. And all we need to do now is let this come back down to room temperature. What you can also do is put this into the fridge so it cools down quicker, but obviously don't cover it up. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is pour it into our ice cream maker. Now in my case, I'm just using a quiz on that one. So you just want to follow the manufacturer instructions for it. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to carefully pour in our mixture. Just like so. So guys, generally it will take around 20 to 25 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes to get this ready. In the meantime, I do have one cup of chocolate chips here. I'm just using the Cadbury ones, they're my favorite. I'm using milk chocolate ones. You can use dark chocolate, even white chocolate if you prefer. We won't add that in yet, we'll add it in about halfway. All right guys, so we're at the 15 minute mark now, so just a bit over the halfway point. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up and come together nicely. So we're gonna add our chocolate chips in at this point. So as I said, one cup. let that stir in there on its own. Alright guys, so we're at the 30 minute mark now. As you can see, it's completely thickened up and it's looking very nice, thick and creamy. So what we're going to do is turn the machine off now and we're going to empty this into another container. And you want to make sure to get everything off. We don't want to waste anything. Feel free to grab a spoon and have a little taste at this point. Alright guys, so I'm quite happy with that. So what we're going to do is put this straight into the freezer now. And you want to leave for about 2 or 3 hours, even overnight if you like. Alright guys, so as I said, I've left mine for 2 hours in the freezer. So let's go ahead and serve it. Just have a look at that. Man, just look at how beautiful that looks guys. Just look at that creaminess. So it's no surprise, you only need a few ingredients. So when you go to a supermarket and see there's about 30 ingredients in vanilla ice cream, obviously something's wrong. So guys, storage wise, obviously keep it in the freezer. Um, obviously this isn't something that will go off, but it's best to have it within a year, or else you'll start to get issues like freezer burn and the taste will change. I hope you like that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. Got any comments or suggestions? Just leave them at the bottom, and I'll see you all next time.